Hey guys, in this video, I'm going to show you how you can solve this problem, which says uh, Apache is stopped unexpectedly or something on the lines uh, that it says the port is used by some other service, right? So the solution for this is, uh, first of all, if it's it complains about the port, that the port is used by some other service, generally it's also going to show you the service which is using the port 80 it shows this error which says apache shut down unexpectedly this may be due to blocked port missing dependencies or other problems right so let's see how we can solve this problem so first of all we will just concentrate on this line which says it may be due to blocked port so to know what port is using uh the port which is used by apache server generally apache server uses the port 80 on your operating system to run itself so to know that just click on this netstat uh, button here and it's going to show which application is running on port 80 so as i can see here port 80 is occupied by python exe in my case so at this point i have two options Either I need to close this Python app which I'm running or I can change the port on which I want to run Apache. Let's try them one by one. So if I want to change the port, I just need to click on config here and then click on Apache HTTP D.conf. And once this file opens, I can scroll down a little and I will see the port on which Apache runs, right? By default, it's port 80. So I can change this to port 8080, for example, and then press Control S to save this file and then minimize this and then try again, right? So I'm going to click on Start. And now you can see it starts successfully. The status is green here, but it's running on port 8080. If you want to run your app on port 80 and don't want to run on any other port, then let's revert the changes once again. So instead of uh, port 8080, I will revert this to port 80 and then uh, stop my server again. And then when I start, it's going to complain again, right? So this time what I wa want to do is I can either stop the service which is running on port 80 so how to stop that uh, uh, application which is running on port 80? You can click on netstat once again and you can see here the port and the PID of that service. So if you don't know how to uh, stop the service which is using port 80, what you can do is you can use this PID to kill that service. For that, you just need to open the command prompt. So you can just search for CMD here and then click on command prompt here and then just write task kill here and then forward slash PID then space the PID which you want to kill, right? So in our case, we want to kill PID number 2124. So I'm going to just write uh, 2124 here and then space forward slash F and then press enter. And it says the process with PID 2124 has been terminated. Once again, when you go to netstat, you can see this uh, process is in blue. That means it's been terminated. You can close this and click on this once again, and you will not find this uh, application once again. And port 80 is free now. And now you can see our Apache server is running on port 80, right? So this is how you can resolve this problem, which says uh, your Apache server is uh, down unexpectedly, right? If all this doesn't work, then there is one more solution. And that is just stop everything. So I'm going to stop all the services. So just click on stop and stop all the modules here. And once everything is stopped, click on quit here, which is going to quit XAMPP server. And once XAMPP server is uh, quitted, you can also 
just click on this arrow here and you will see the XAMPP server icon. If XAMPP server icon is gone, that means it's properly quitted. If it doesn't quit, you can right click on the Windows icon here. So it's a right click and not the left click and then click on task manager and then just locate the XAMPP server if it's listed here and then click on end task, which is going to end the task for XAMPP. Once that's done, you need to reopen the XAMPP again. So click on search and then search for XAMPP here. And then you will see this XAMPP control panel option. This time open XAMPP with administrative privileges. So click on run as administrator. And now this time, once again, you can click on this cross option. If you see this cross option, click on this service and click on yes here. And once again, click on this service, click on yes. Again, wherever you uh, see this cross, click on yes for everything. And then click on uh, start button again. And hopefully it's going to start working again. Okay, so this is how also you can solve this problem. So this is how you can uh, solve this problem on your XAMPP server about this uh, application crash and port is preoccupied on your Windows operating system. I hope you enjoyed this video and I will see you in the next video.